What's going on, Ant Crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. If you guys have watched many tutorials at all on YouTube, one thing you've probably heard a lot about is sound design. And I'm not going to give you the spiel that you've probably heard a million times before about why sound design is so important, why having sound effects in your videos enhances them and brings them to a new level. I'm not going to do that again because I think you guys probably already know. In this video, I want to show you guys my new transition sound effects pack. I know the struggle. Trust me look at me look me in the eyes I know the struggle of trying to find sound effects oh it is unbelievably hard and frustrating sometimes when you're trying to find sound effects and you just can't find that one that one that will perfect your video so I hope this video this transition sound effect pack will be helpful for you guys and will release some of the stress in your life for trying to find sound effects and by the way guys this transition sound effect pack is completely 100% Free. So what you're going to do to get this transition sound effect pack is you're going to go down to the description. At the top of the description, there will be a Google Drive link. Hit that link. That will bring you to Google Drive, and you can download the files there. It's going to come in a little folder. The folder should be called Ancrew Transition SFX. A couple of videos ago, I had a little intro at the beginning of my Sam Coulter transition video. I'm going to use that as an illustration and go about adding sound effects from this Ancrew sound effect pack. Just to give you guys a little bit of an example about how I would use this pack personally. Alright, so I'm in Premiere Pro right now, and as you guys can see, here's the intro I'm talking about. I made it for the Sam Coulter transition video, but I removed all the sound effects I had added, and we're going to use my sound effect pack. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously import the sound effect pack. Select your project panel, hit Control i on PC or Command-I on Mac. I'm going to go find the pack. I'm going to select that, select all of these different sound effects, and hit Open. So there's a total of 12 sound effects in this sound effect pack. There are breath whoosh sounds, there are camera focus beep sound, there are glitch sounds, there are whoosh sound. Now I'm going to add my first sound effects. So right off the bat, I play it through, and right there, where the text kind of fades away, I think that would be a great place to add a sound effect. I'm going to scroll over and what I kind of want to go for and what I usually do with this effect is I add like this breath whoosh sound effect. Breath whoosh 01 I think is perfect. I'm going to drag that down below. I'm also going to make this panel a little bit bigger just so I can see the sound effects a little bit better. Cool, that looks great, I really like that. The next place I want to add a sound effect is right here at this transition, this sort of JR Ollie warp transition. And by the way, some people asked me about how to do that effect. I have two videos about how to do that effect. The first video is a video called How to Do JR Ollie Transitions. That is a video where I talk about a preset pack, and that preset pack actually costs $45. So I made another video which is called How to Do JR Ollie Transitions for Free, and in that video I just show you guys how to manually make this transition. Now one thing that I like to do, and one thing JR Ollie does is you sort of treat this transition as if it's like a camera effect in the sense that you add camera sound effects. So what I love to do is add a camera autofocus beep sound effect. We'll put that right there and then we'll add a whoosh. That one's a little bit too short. I like this harsh whoosh. Since it's a pretty intense transition, it's nice to have a pretty intense sound effect to go along with it. We'll add that there. And then underneath the whoosh sound effect, we'll also add this single shutter click sound effect to add to the idea of it being a camera. All right, let's play it through and see how it sounds. Perfect. I actually really like that. I think that sounds great. And it really fits with the vibe of the video. If I add a light one here, I think if I add a super harsh whoosh sound effect, the sound effects are going to get a little bit overwhelming. So let's just add a light one. Um, we'll drag it about there. Let's play it through. I purposely added a lighter whoosh sound effect because oftentimes when you're searching on the internet, it's hard to find those light ones. Most of the time they're really punchy and really dramatic, and it's kind of difficult to find ones that are a little bit more subtle, so I made sure I included that in the pack. Um, let's keep moving along to find the next spot. This is a speed ramp. I, I could have one. Yeah, I like that. I think that kind of works for the speed ramp. Let's see. And that, that looked good. And then this one, once again, I want to use a subtle whoosh sound effect. I don't want to go too heavy on it, just because it's kind of passing through the leaves. So we'll go ahead and add that light whoosh 
once again. The nice thing about adding that light whoosh there is it's kind of long, so it applies to these branches that we sort of zoom through, and then it also applies to the bushes, so it adds a whoosh for both of those different visual images. The last thing I'm gonna do is add this outdoor environment sound effect. Yes, it's, it's not even trying to be a transition sound effect. That's not a transition sound effect at all, but I just sort of threw it into the pack as well because it's nice to have a little bit of an outdoor sound effect, and I kind of like how it plays on the black because it kind of is like an introduction to the clip you're about to see. It's essentially an L cut. You see the audio before you actually jump to the visual image that goes with the audio, and it's sort of just a nice way to cushion the cut uh, to the next clip you're going to see. I'll only have that sound apply for this first clip, and then it'll go away in between this uh, whoosh sound effect there. So let's just play it all through and watch our work. There we go. I don't know what else to say. I personally like that. I mean, sound effects are very subjective, so maybe it's not your cup of tea. I like how it sounds. It's a little bit gritty, a little bit moody, but I think it kind of goes with the vibe of the intro. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to get out there and film some videos and use these sound effects. If you do use these sound effects in your edits, then post them on Instagram and tag me, and I'd love to check out your work. If you guys are new to the Ant Crew, if you've never seen my videos before or anything like that, the Ant Crew is a place for aspiring YouTube YouTubers, filmmakers, photographers, videographers, editors, and people like that. If you just don't fit into any boxes, if you feel like there's nobody around you who gets you, or dreams like you, or thinks like you, then the Ant Crew is the place for you. Be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys on Friday. Peace.